Hi guys, welcome back to Chess the Matthew. So on this video, I will show you only how to win with the Pelador defense in just 15 moves. So this game was actually taken from the simultaneous game of former world champion Alexander Alikain. So the setup thing start with the moves of e4 and here after e5 for Alikain. His opponent here plays knight f3 and the blocker plays d6 and this is now the so-called Pelador defense. So the white here plays bishop to c4 trying to have some rapid development and later on the white king now can castle on the king side. So the black here play knight to c6 trying to control the center and with an idea that this knight can actually help to the squares that pressure now the pieces of white. So the white here plays c3 with an idea of opening some diagonal for his queen for example. He can go to this diagonal maybe to pin this knight or play queen b3 with a double attack to the f7 with the queen and bishop and again this pawn both defend now the d4 square and the b4 square so alikain here plays bishop to g4 pinning now the knight so that this knight cannot go anywhere but again the white here plays queen b3 it's like i said from the latter moves after c3 and again after this bishop vacate on c8 square then this pawn is actually totally undefended and with queen b3 and c4 there is now two attackers to this pawn with only one defender so the black here defend with queen to d7 giving up this pawn because the black here wants to defend his f7 pawn rather his b7 pawn so after knight g5 of white the black here defend with knight h6 but still on this position, after knight h6, there is equal attacker, for example, the knight and bishop and queen, and the defender, the king, queen, and knight. But still this b7 pawn is totally undefended, so the white pursue to his idea after playing queen b3 with bishop takes f7 check, because after knight takes f7, knight takes f7, Queen takes f7, there is a fork for the white here after queen takes b7 because this knight and rook is actually undefended. But the black here chooses to defend his knight on c6 because of his idea, for example, after queen takes c8, there is queen c4 here for the black that actually threatens now the white king here to mate in one. So the white here defend with f3 to block now the connection of this bishop and queen to this e2 square. But after bishop takes f3 and g takes f3, there is again knight to d4 and again trying to mate the white king now in e2 with the knight and queen combination. Because for example, if the white here actually capture now this knight, then the c file will be open then the queen here can actually grab now the bishop with the check and later on with the rook so the white here chooses to play d3 to block the connection of this knight and queen to this square because of this blocking move of pawn to d3 but still there is queen takes d3 and again i to threat a mate in one so the white now grab the knight on d4 after c takes d4 because the queen now is on the d3 rather than to this c4 square that later on the queen can grab now the bishop with a check and again extraying to the rook on h1 but after c takes d4 there is a simple bishop e7 for block the idea here is it actually have a discover attack a rook to the queen so the white queen here immediately grab the rook on h8 but in just 15 moves alekain here wins with checkmate through bishop h4 checkmate because the white king here cannot escape now the check he cannot cover he cannot capture these checking pieces so it is already now a checkmate so going back for example after e4 e5 knight f3 d6 the pillar defense let us first flip the board and let's see if this trap is actually a force defeat for white because after bishop c4 there is simple knight c6 for black and after c3 bishop g4 and after queen b3 it is actually has a good idea that attacks both the f7 
pawn and this b7 pawn. So after queen d7, trying to defend his f7 pawn, but this knight g5 is still a good move for white because after knight e6, the white here should not grab the pawn on b7 with bishop takes f7 because it actually puts some equality to the game. But rather than to play queen takes b7 because after rook b8, queen a6 escaping to the attack of the rook and after bishop to e7, d3 trying to open some lines for the bishop and again defending this knight and after for example king said castling for black but there is simple h3 the idea here for example after bishop takes g5 bishop takes g5 bishop to e6 and b4 we shall see in position now that the white here is still a pawn up so after knight e6 the white here should not grab the pawn on the b7 but instead play queen takes b7 but let's say for example after knight e6 bishop takes f7 check and knight takes f7 knight takes f7 and queen takes f7 although this position is still equal for both sides but after for example knight e7 the black here should not play queen takes f7 to have some equality but rather than to play the move bishop to e6 with a fork because for example after queen takes b7 rook b8 knight takes to e5 d takes e5 queen to a6 and bishop to c5 we shall see in this position now that the black here has huge material advantage with an extra piece on the board so after queen takes f7 this move is actually leads to an equality after for example queen takes b7 with a fork and again king d7 is not a bad move and after queen takes a8 queen c4 threatening to meet in one and again this f3 is still a good move for white and after bishop takes f3 g takes f3 net d4 and again after d3 this is now a bad move for the white after net d4 of black the white here should play c takes 2 d4 allowing to the line that the white here will lose his bishop on c8 with an extra to the rook because after queen takes c1 check king e2 queen takes h1 and again queen takes e7 on this position the white here can actually have some equality but if the black here tries to force the position with queen takes h to check but there is simple king d3 finding his home to the square because the white king here has no checks at all and after queen g1 but still there is queen a4 check and after king d8 queen to a8 check again and after king e7 d takes to e5 and we shall see in this position now that the white here has an extra pawn and this pawn is also a pass pawn that can actually be a huge material advantage on the end game so again just a recap after e4 e5 net f3 d6 bishop to c4 net c6 c3 bishop to g4 and queen b3 although after queen d7 knight g5 knight h6 and bishop takes f7 although this position leads to an equality rather than to have some advantage for white after queen takes b7 but after bishop takes f7 check knight takes f7 knight takes f7 this queen takes f7 actually leads to a draw rather than again for black with a force winning combination after bishop e6 with a fork so after queen takes f7 queen takes b7 king d7 queen takes e8 queen c4 with a mate but again f3 is a good move for white bishop takes g takes f3 net to d4 and again the white here should not be afraid to grab that knight on d4 to have some initiative rather than to play a bad move by playing d3 because after d3 queen takes d3 c takes d4 bishop e7 with a discover attack to the queen and with a threat to mate in one because after queen takes h8 there is bishop h4 checkmate so that's all i hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe